Kai123459. Wait, Kai123459 here again with more inflation fanfics, Sonic inflation fanfics. Just because this is weird. <laughs> I love this stuff. It's just so freaking fucked up. It makes my fanfictions look like art. Um, nom nom nom. Then I'll get my ass kicked by Mike Tyson. Anyways, Amy and Crane's Balloon EXP. This one I chose because I had skimmed through it and it looks kind of interesting. Then uh, Amy Rose sitting on a bench in the Golden Park, one of the night, looking at a fountain, depressingly. Seems like Grand Little Noir, she hopes that she would finally have Sonic become her boyfriend, but she seems to run but he seemed to run away from her whenever he saw her more often. Even when she told him about having a boyfriend named Dexter that she made up to make him jealous. Retarded Okay. That's a bad that Dexter to make about it did. He still ran from her. Unknowingly to her, a mysterious figure for fuck. A mysterious figure was watching her from behind a tree. Amy then saw two swans on the fountain, making a heart shape from their neck. <laughs> and she looked at them and started crying. Why doesn't Sonic want to be with me? She told herself, no matter what I do, I, I can't get to love me. What? <laughs> I missed a word. I can't get Sonic to love me. Why doesn't anyone love me? <laughs> Why don't I have any friends? Uh, <clears throat> how could this happen to me? <laughs> I don't remember. How could this happen to me? <laughs> that is such a stupid song. Can't love fuck. She then cried heavily, heavily, covering her eyes at what? She didn't cry sexily? Covering her sad eyes with her hands. No, co covering her sad eyes with her boobs. What else would you cover your eyes with? Then suddenly, something, someone placed a hand on to her mouth and grabbed her. <laughs> she tried to break free and yell for help, but then the figure sprayed a bit of knockout gas at her, making her go unconscious. The figure grabbed her before she fell down onto the store and ground. I'm sorry to do this to you, Amy. The figure said as he kidnapped Amy at supersonic speed. Almost at the fastest Sonic. And... Uh, moments later, Amy woke up from her slumber and found herself chained up. Okay, so I'm not the only person who randomly chains people to walls for no apparent reason. She growled and tried to break free, but not so such luck. She was trapped. Soon she saw her kidnapper and came into the prison. Come into the prison room. Amy saw that he looked like one of mar the marauders. Only he looked more hedgehog-like than hedgehog-like. Like so, you're the one who kidnapped me. She yelled at the marauder. I gotta figure out what that is. That's right, Amy Rose, the marauder's head. Before you ask what I'm going to do to you, let's just say it'll be a ball. What do you mean? You're in luck. Because it is now time, the marauder told her as he released the top chains from the wall and released Amy from the bottom ones. What the fuck? Went fine, I fuck, fuck, fuck. Mind fuck moment, because my brain sort of crapped out. When Sonic finds about that, uh, finds out that... Amy then thought the bubble. Amy then thought about the time Sonic ran from her and became depressed. Why bother? She, he doesn't even like me, let alone care that I'm kidnapped. Marauder took Amy to a room that had a giant air tank in it. Amy looked at the tank and saw the Marauder grabbing a pill, a glass of water, and a hose that was attached to the tank. What are you going to do to me? She asked, looking worried. The marauder then placed the pill in her mouth and put the glass of water in her mouth, the glass of water in her mouth and made her drink the pill down. I'm going to keep you all to myself, he told Amy. And this is one way that will I'll make sure you won't escape, you don't escape. He then placed the hose into her mouth and went over to the tank and turned it on. Amy felt air going into her, making her feel fell, 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 making her fell full of air, a little too full. Uh, I feel like I feel full, like I'm, I feel like I'm, then she felt something in her stomach. She looked down and saw her stomach getting bigger 
and bigger from underneath her clothes. I'm blowing up into a balloon! She thought that she's blowing up again. How many times will she explode? I know, I know what they mean. But I just like making the explosion joke. I am the master of disasters! She thought as she squealed and whimpered as her belly got fucker. As her stomach got bigger. Her back and sides joining. I wonder how that works. That's right, Amy. I'm inflating you into a hedgehog balloon to keep you from escaping the marauder troller. So you get her get bigger and bigger as her arms and legs bloated with hair. And the pill I gave you will make sure you don't explode. It makes your clothes warm and prevent any rippage. How the fuck did a pill make your clothes change? What the f ass? I will give you a little bit of the rest of your life. He was fine. She got bigger and rounder. She just had her chest and nose that her breasts had inflated and all became. And, um, why does that matter? Me came flat. This feels wonderful. <laughs> but I'm worried what he'll do to me. He'll rape me. She that is the date rape drug that he popped into your mouth. Not this weird thingy that makes no sense. She thought it's her dress and white cotton patties before formed and covered around her body. I wish forget it. Maybe that became more depressed. I slit it in my wrist while I'm being turned into a ball. Um, I'll go to a pot fanny. Amy made Cammy camera. And yeah, what's the point of calling for Sonic? He doesn't like me any way I do. Like me the way I do. And one look from me and he'll be running away laughing. Amy started tearing as her arms and legs started to get pulled into her body. She then felt her going <laughs> touch the ground floor. The ground floor? And raising her feet. The marauders saw her head, hands, and feet starting to partially pull into her body. That should be big enough. He turned off the tank and popped the hose out of Amy's mouth. He looked at Amy and saw that she had become a giant balloon about the same height as Big the Cat. You're the, you know, you're a balloon. I'll the marauder then took looked at Amy's sad face. You won't escape from my grasp, baby. I don't care what you do to me. Amy told the marauder, no one even knows I'm here. And I won't even escape if it means being laughed at. Then what's wrong? The, the marauder asked. Why the fuck does the marauder matter and care and shit like that? That's because he has a secret in the back of his mind. No. It's not the marauder that loves him. That loves her. I'm getting genders mixed up today, because I just read the previous fanfiction thingy that I read, and it made Sonic a girl. By accident. I'm trying to get the cable under my keyboard. Fuck it. It's Sonic, Amy replied. Sonic doesn't even care about me. All he does is run from me, not even caring about how much it hurts me from the heart. The marauder then strangely started to look depressed. This is my immortal all over again. Uh, does she still runs from me? Not even care. Puff, fuck. He doesn't even care about me. He doesn't even like me. Amy cried harder and tearing more. Then she felt the marauder grab her and tip her onto her back and crawl onto her stomach till he reached her face. You're right, Amy. Song doesn't like you. The marauder then took out his mouthpiece, which for some strange reason had a voice changer in it. He loves you, he said, sounding very familiar to Amy. I fucking knew it. And I would have to fuck you. Amy thought about the voice that told her that, but before she could reply, she felt the marauder lip lock her deeply, dip, deeply yet passionately. She was for, at first shocked by the kiss, but soon calmed herself down and, and melted in the kiss. Soon the marauder broke the kiss, slowly removed his helmet, showing the face of a blue spiky kill. The hedgehog was going to be able to green hires and some time fucker. It's Sonic. It's Sonic. Amy. Yeah, Amy. It's me. No shit. And I'm sorry away from running away from you. But why? To tell you the truth, I've always had loved you forever since we met on the little planet. Uh, but I was too shy to admit my feelings to you. So I always ran scared. Sonic softly told her. And when you told me that you had a boyfriend, it broke my heart, and I avoided you because of that. You're retarded, Sonic. You don't love AB. You're just a fan fiction fuck up. You don't love anyone.
Actually, you like Sally in the con, the story. Love. But she never loved, but he never loved Amy. He only faked it. Maybe four kids had fucked things, but no. Broke my face. Amy looked at him, still tearing. I also wanted to make sure you didn't get hurt ever since the Salina adventure when you got injured badly. So I continue. I want to tell you about my plan personally, but I didn't have the courage to tell you. Plus, I was afraid you would go through with it. So I had to kidnap yourself, you, and turn you into a big testicle so I can protect you. That would make lots of fucking sense. And that's why you just got yourself a brahmarauder. Kidnapped me and turned me into a balloon. I thought I was gonna. I thought it said pedophile for a second. <laughs>